Hi, I'm Alia. So today I have a video for you guys about how to form present, past and future in Slovenian. So uh, you will see that this doesn't imply for all the verbs because in Slovenian we have a lot, a lot of irregular verbs. Uh, but hopefully this will help you with studying Slovenian. So yeah, let's just begin. So for the first example, I decided to go with hoditi to walk. So what we do is you take away the ti at the end. Yeah, so you are left with what? From hoditi, you are left with hodi, right? We will call this the root. All right. And now for the, let's say, present tense, I will say jas hodim. So it means I am walking or I walk. So do you see what happened? I added m at the end, right? So jas hodim. But if I say ti, so you, it's ti hodish. So you get sh at the end. All right. And if it's he, she, on, ona, you just take the root. So you just have hodi, ho, hod, hodi, there we go, hodi. So on, hodi, ona, hodi. All right, makes sense. So what uh, to kind of recap, you take away the ti. And for yas, so I or me, it's m at the end, right? If it's you, t, you put sh at the end. And if it's he, she, you just leave it as it is. So you just have the root. All right. And now if I say jas hodim u šolo, it means I'm walking to school. Ti hodiš domov. You are walking home. Um, on hodi po pločniku or ona hodi po cesti. So on hodi po pločniku, it means he's walking on the sidewalk. Ona hodi po cesti, she's walking on the road or on the street. All right. So now we covered the present. All right. Now let's continue with how to form the future. So first you take the, like we said before, so jas, ti, on, ona, so then you take the form either jas, bom, so bom, ti, bosh, so bom or bosh, or on, ona, he, she, bo, he, she, will. So do you kind of see, uh, just like before, right, we had um, jas, hodim, so m at the end, ti, hodish, sh at the end, on, ona, you just kind of stick to the root, right? So for the future, it's Jas bom, m at the end, ti bosh, sh at the end, on, ona, bo, right? And once you have this, so jas, bom, so I will, then you add the verb. So we had uh, hoditi, right, to walk. So jas bom, hodila, all right? And if it's a guy saying, it would be um, jas bom, hodil. So just L at the end without the A. All right, but it's pronounced a bit different as you can hear, right? Because if L is at the end, you kind of make it a U sound. So one more time. Jas, bom, hodila. Jas, bom, hodil. All right. And then if uh, it's a T, right? So you. Ti, bosh, hodil. Ti, bosh, hodila. Makes sense, right? If it's on, ona. On, bo, hodil. Ona bo hodila, right? So first you take jas ti on ona, then you choose one of the appropriate forms. So for jas it's bom, for ti it's bosh, for on ona it's bo, and then you just add if it's a female or a male. So hodila for female and hodil for male. All right, all right, and now for the last one. So how to form the past? Um, just like for the future, right? We kind of had like three parts, let's say. So, jas, ti, on, ona, right? Um, sem, so jas, sem. Ti, si, on, ona, je. All right, so now the three important, let's say, words here are sem, si, and je. All right? And then again, you just add hodi, hodiu or hodila. Makes sense. All right, let's, let's go a bit slower. So, Jas, sem, hodila. Ti, si, hodila. On, je, hodil. Ona, je, hodila. All right, so you, again, you just choose. If it's jas, then it's sem. And the verb, right? Just like before the form. Uh, ti, si, hodil. You walked. Ti, si, hodil, u šolo. <laughs> All right, there was a car. The truck, sorry. Uh, so, ti si hodil u šolo. All right, so you were walking to school, if I'm talking to a guy or a boy. 
All right, so now for a quick recap. We started with present. So what we do is you take from the infinitive, so hoditi, you take the ti away. And then for yas, you add m. For t, you add sh. For on, ona, you're just gonna stick with the root. All right? So yas hodim, ti hodish, on, ona, hodi. And now for the future. Yas bom hodila, ti bosh hodil, or ti bosh hodila, if I'm telling a girl that she will be walking. On bo hodil, and ona bo hodila. All right? And now for the past, we kind of just switch now uh, bosh, bom, and bo, right? So with this, we just switch with yas sem hodila, ti si hodila, ona je hodila. Or if it's a guy, yas sem hodil, ti si hodil, on je hodil. All right, I hope this makes sense. All right, and for more examples, no city. It's to wear or to carry. All right, so an example, we take the ti away, where we end up with the root, right? So, nosi. So I would say, yas nosim na hrpnik. Do you see my backpack? So it means I carry a backpack. So, yas nosim ruzak. Um, ti nosish uro. Let's say that you um, wear a watch, right? So you wear a watch. Ti nosish uro. On nosi otroka. He's carrying a child. All right? So, or ona nosi otroka. She is carrying a child. And then if it's the past, um, let's put this backpack off, right? So, how would you tell me that, oh, before I had a backpack on, right? So, ti si nosila na hrpnik, right? Or, jas sem nosila na hrpnik. So, it means I was carrying the backpack before. Or if you said ti si nosila, you were telling me. So, you were carrying a backpack, right? All right, so this is it for this video. I hope it comes in handy and if you have any more ideas what video I should do next, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye bye!